Yes, learning to play jazz guitar should be much like throwing darts at a dartboard as a very unskilled marksman. Let's talk about frustration, uh, learning to play jazz guitar and how my channel could help you with that. Coming right up. Hello everyone. This video will be quite different from the other videos on my channel. No tap, no uh, licks. I'm not going to demonstrate a bunch of phrases that you could practice. Um, I want to talk in this video about what it takes to become proficient at playing jazz guitar or to become good at playing jazz guitar even. And the reason I'm making this video is because lately I've received more and more messages from people that are uh, subscribed to my channel or even patrons that are struggling with uh, the amount of information I put out because I make a lot of videos. I know sometimes I make five videos a week, uh, the videos here on YouTube, but also the videos that are exclusively for my patron um, members that you don't even see if you're not a member there. And people get lost in the amount of information I put out. And they don't understand how they should use my videos. So I want to make it clear, right? I made some videos about how to practice. I'm not going to talk about that. I will refer to those videos maybe and I'll put links when I, whenever I do. But I want to talk about the reason why I put out so many videos and that it is a reflection of the way I think about learning jazz guitar and the way I practice. Because what I'm doing is I'm making videos about stuff I'm transcribing and practicing myself. So now you might say, well, then you're practicing a lot of different stuff. How is that going to stick? Well, here, here's the thing. It doesn't stick. And it's part of my philosophy on how to learn to play jazz guitar fast. In my opinion, there's two things important, or there's three things important to become a good jazz soloist on guitar. Right? I'm only talking about guitar here. The first thing is that the sound has to be good, right? And so the sound comes from technique. That's something you can practice every day with technique exercises. I will link a video that will point you in the right direction. So I don't want to talk about that. It's very important. Sounds the most important thing. But that's probably not what uh, most people are struggling with. Um, I'm going to assume your sound and technique is good. Second thing is timing. Timing is very important um, after sound the most important thing, right? And as you can tell, I've, I didn't talk about which notes you're playing or which chords or which licks. I'm, I'm now talking about sound and timing. Now, realizing that these two things are the most important factors in if you are perceived or if you are a good player, then it doesn't really matter which notes you are playing, right? Because sound and timing are the most important things. So it doesn't matter what you practice, which licks, what concepts, you have to make sure that the sound and the timing of what you're doing is good. So that always takes precedence over anything else. Now we come to the third element, and that is actually the, the vocabulary you're using to play solos. So which notes, which chords. And it's also the most, um, it seems to be the most challenging part about learning how to play jazz, but it actually isn't because the sound and the timing thing are actually more difficult. But that is something that you can always practice. It doesn't matter what you do. You learn some new chords, you learn some new licks. Always work on the timing and the sound of, of it all. And I made several videos about timing and how to practice it. And it's a lifelong struggle for everyone, including me. I always uh, am listening to myself and whenever I make a timing mistake, which happens often because it's just so difficult, especially on guitar, I'm, that's the most frustrating part actually. And then I, I keep working on it with a metronome and it gets better and better, hopefully. But the reason I produce so many videos is because my philosophy on um, what to practice concerning vocabulary is that you have to practice what you like at the moment. And you shouldn't practice it for any longer than it is uh, interesting to you or fun or captivating or whatever, whatever emotion you want to link to the stuff you're practicing. So the moment you get bored with a phrase, stop uh, practicing the phrase. It doesn't matter if you are capable of playing it or if you are uh, capable of playing it in a solo or whatever. 
stop what you're doing and go to something new. Because like I said, timing and, uh, timing and sound is the most important thing. So it doesn't really matter if you play that phrase in your solo. What matters is that you worked, hopefully also, on your timing and sound while you were practicing that phrase. And it might show up, it might not show up. I don't really care about that. Because if you uh, watch me play solos, then you will notice that um, lots of the, the licks I discuss in my videos, I'm actually not playing. Some of it, yes. And the things that I'm, I am playing, it's not that I practice the things that I'm uh, playing in my solos more than the other stuff. I always practice everything with dedication and um, with the intent of having it show up in my solos. But if it doesn't, I don't care. I only care about the work. And the stuff that shows up is the stuff, the stuff that's stuck for some reason. And that's why I'm talking about the darts, right? This is the analogy. I talked about it before, but I'll, I'll say it again. Let's say that every dart is a lick or a phrase. Now I have uh, maybe 60 of them that I practice in a, in a half year, probably more, but let's say 60 in six months. And this is the energy. I'm throwing all of them at a dartboard. Um, maybe not at the same time, but, but soon after, uh, one after another. And I'm doing my utmost, I'm doing the best I can to hit bullseye. Now I'm a very bad darts player. I don't have any skill, so maybe Maybe one, if I'm lucky, two will hit bullseye. Those are the darts or the licks that I'm actually playing in solos. And now you might say, well, why don't you only practice two of them then? That is because I cannot predict which dart will actually hit, hit bullseye. I can only make um, a lot of effort to throw every one of them. But the one that will stick the one dart that will hit bullseye, the one lick that will show up in my solos, I, I don't know why. I don't know why it shows up, I don't care. It, for some reason I hear it, I see it on the neck, it connects to other stuff I know. But I would never have discovered those phrases if I wouldn't have uh, started with those 60 licks, right? I would never have found the two darts that hit bullseye if I didn't start with a tray uh, of 60 darts at the same time. That's why I'm throwing out all this stuff. It's not because I expect everyone that is serious, uh, seriously using my channel to progress. And uh, there are many people that do that. I'm, I'm very, uh, I feel very honored that so many of you are using my channel. Uh, lots of professional guitar players, uh, beginners, uh, students at universities are using it. Um, what was the point I was making? <laughs> Well, also, I'm very happy that many of you are using it, but I don't expect any one of you to be able to master all of the licks. I don't master any uh, all of the licks. I might master one or two out of every 60. And now, let's say that I can play 25 to 30 licks um, regularly. They show up in my solos. So you can do the maths, right? If, if it's 20 licks, then I've studied... Um, 1200 licks, is that correct? It's hard to do maths on the camera. I think it's correct, but a lot of licks, and I'm not exaggerating, if you uh, watch my uh, computer uh, uh, transcriptions, there's, there's literally thousands of licks there, and you only see actually a small part of it on YouTube, because I select five of them, and then I talk about them, but I describe much more. Um, so, and I'm also practicing those, that stuff that you, that you don't even see on camera. Um, yeah, that is the point I want to make. I want to take away the frustration you feel with uh, practicing jazz guitar. I, I can't take it away, but I, I would say you should embrace it. But that's difficult, even for me. So, if you feel very frustrated, you should just go listen to some jazz, some good jazz. And uh, I made a video. 10 activities more useful than ear training. And I, the first five activities in that video are to inspire you. And then the top five are things to do to uh, get better at jazz guitar. So watch that video. Watch the video about um, how to practice a practice regimen. That's just a, a schedule you can follow to practice. Then I made a video called how to get very, very good at guitar. Great clickbait title. And um, then you see me practice and you can see me practice two or three phrases. And I don't think I play any of those phrases that I practice in that session actually in solos. I might, I don't know. Um, 
and then you can watch the technique video. Um, and then, you know, there are so many videos. Now, the thing is, if you join my Patreon, there's an index and you can browse the videos per category, uh, per artist that you're interested in. So that's what I would do, right? I would say, okay, I'm very interested in Peter Bernstein. I'm very interested in Django. I'm interested in Lagerlund. I mean, I made videos about many guitar players, George Benson, now I'm doing Mark Whitfield, and many more will follow. Just start there, right? See if there's anything you like and don't do all the licks in the video. Maybe there's one that you like, then practice that one and find another video with another lick you like. And now you have two or three and start practice them, practicing them until you get fed up with it. Might be the same day, might be the next day, might be a week later, doesn't matter. As soon as you get fed up with it, go to something else, but always keep timing and sound as the foremost things you want to practice when you are practicing those licks. Okay. So to end the video, I'm just going to play a little bit and uh, I will cut it off before the end. I'm going to play, what am I going to play? Let's play I Remember April. <laughs> Thank you. 